What's up everybody? Welcome back to Snow Vision Outdoors and today, or I should say this whole week, I'm going to be doing something a little different or at least I'm going to try to. I'm going on a trip across the country with my family and we're going to try to stay either in the bed of the truck or in a tent that I brought along. But first off, we got to get everything all cleaned up in the truck and ready to go. So come along with me. This should be an adventure. All right, good morning everybody. This is our first stop, we made it. We drove until about one o'clock last night in the morning and we got here, I believe we're in Julesburg, Colorado. Nice little rest area here, but I'll kind of show you guys our little setup in here. We just put the bedroll out and threw some blankets in there and we all snuggled up there nice and cozy, but we're still working our way towards uh, like Denver area right now. I don't know if I'll show you a couple views from up there. It looks like there's a nice little uh, TP and like a lookout. So I don't know. Hopefully we'll see some mountains today. But uh, so I can give you guys an update on where we're at. Nice little area here. And we're still moving along. <laughs> so we uh, made it up the road about another hour and a half or so and the kids started wanting some breakfast so I'm gonna set up the old Coleman grill and we're gonna cook up some bacon and eggs for them we just stopped I believe this is called Jackson State Park that's where we're at right now I don't know how exciting this stuff is for you but we're just uh, cruising we can finally start to see the mountains I'm gonna get some of that on video for you guys hopefully here in the next hour or so after we get done eating, but enjoy some nice B-roll of me getting ready cooking. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let them know who you are. Flying up in a bar. Wish on a star. Oh, look at that. There's a, an old onion from our last trip. That should be nice and tasty. <laughs> Whoops. Forgot about him in there. That's all right. All right, I know this is just bacon and eggs, but it says uh, maple, maple uh, syrup egg or uh, bacon. Let's see how she tastes. Oh yeah, I like mine kind of medium, a little bit chewy, a little bit crunchy. Take a little corner off this egg. They look a little dark, but that's because I did the bacon before. I'm gonna use the use the bacon grease. I don't know how much of a shot that was a terrible shot, but that was also good. All right, we're gonna eat this food. We're gonna clean up, and we're gonna head into the mountains. All right, so this is actually in Idaho Springs, and this is where they found the first gold, and it pretty much started the gold rush in Colorado, so they have a nice little museum here, and we stopped and kind of looked, looked at it and checked it out. It's got a bunch of cool history about the town and how he found it and what he went through to find the gold. All right, after we stopped at Idaho Springs, we kept going down the road a little bit farther and we ended up in Georgetown and we decided to go on the Georgetown Loop Railroad. It takes you on a loop up the hill to Silver Plume Depot. This little stream right here, it goes all the way along that mountainside. You cross it like three or four times, I believe you'll see it here coming up. Got some old 
couple trains there, just sitting off the side. There's Georgetown down there in the bottom. Dad, did we see that already in our car? Yeah. I think overall it took about an hour or so to come up and back down. You stop up at Silver Plume and then uh, get off and check out the gift store and then come back down. If you have small kids or something like that, it's actually a pretty fun ride. kind of see a snow squall here or whatever you want to call it but it's actually pretty cool it kept on snowing on us while we're going up hopefully the sound ain't too bad for you guys but we got in here fairly decent time I'm cooking dinner in the back I got the fire going but I got my ice hut set up here and got the camper truck camper here kind of got her set up in there for the family I think I'm gonna sleep in the I set by myself. I just have a tarp laid down to keep water out just in case or uh, the dirt and everything. And then I got my tent uh, bedroll there. Got a little light set up here so I can turn it off and on depending on how dark it gets. Got the propane heater. I think it's supposed to get down to 36 tonight, but just cooking up some dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed the day that I brought and we rode a train and we went to a nice little museum there in Idaho Springs, so... Alright, first taste with the onions and potatoes. Oh, that's terrible lighting. Alright, alright, that's really good. What do you think, Cass? Pretty good? Alright, alright, here's the steak. Not bad, not bad. I think we're all gonna eat. And then we're going to tuck ourselves in. Might have a beverage or two, but you guys have a great evening. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars.